Hello guys and welcome to another video. I hope you all are doing well and everybody's healthy and encouraged today. Now I'm right here in my front porch and as you can see this is my wood storage bin and it's completely empty <laughs> and the reason for that is guys we have run out of wood we are waiting for our wood to come in and it's late this season we i think we have like in the garage we have like three i don't know maybe maybe three fires three fires left of wood and then that's gonna be it and they're not even chopped up they're big logs and we have to go there with a the chainsaw and, and chop them up so when that is finished um there'll be no more wood so this thing is completely empty and um, i'm burning the first uh, set this morning and I need wood all throughout the day because guys, it's cold. It's three degrees, only three degrees, so it's freezing. Um, so this is what's happening. But on today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on the wood stove. We test another wood stove to see how it's working, how it's burning and everything like that. I'm gonna give you an update. Ooh, it was cold out there. Okay, so let me give you an update on the wood stove. So our main worry about the wood stove was that like the paint that we painted was gonna smell and stuff like that. But no, there is no smell. You would you would not even know if we painted the stove. So it's burning really well. We had to give it like a hot burn, put a lot of wood and make the temperature go up really, really high. And we brought the temperature up to, I think like 400 degrees and there was no like smoking issue or anything like that. So we're happy about that. The second thing about the wood stove is it's working fabulous. When I say fabulous, I mean fabulous. The um, the heat that is giving up, it's amazing. It's in the kitchen, it's like 30 degrees, and in the living room and other places, it's like 25 degrees. It's amazing. Upstairs, like a sauna. Upstairs is really really. So hot. we block off some vents so not a lot of heat goes upstairs when we put the fan on because we just want a certain amount of heat because if all the vents are open then it brings up too much hot air upstairs so that's one of the solutions that we did um concerning temperature wise i mean it's just amazing um and also the stove itself it's keeping the fire in there so at night we put like four logs in there big heavy logs and we just shut it close the shutter and the fire goes all night long it just simmers in there and it warms the place up and there's still fire in the morning so we've been just continuously running the stove and we don't even have to light the fire again the next day because you just add more wood and it just continue on i love this this is working really really well um and the third thing about the wood stove is um you have to be um, very careful how much wood you put in it because it gets really really hot and the temperature shoots up and we get very very hot in the kitchen so yeah we have to put less wood in the day and uh at night it's just very hot so yeah. the amount of wood that we put in this stove is important because then it just really gets too hot but we, we're really really happy and so far the, the lowest temperature we have for the past three weeks was like one degree and it was really cold out there and then we had a frost which is like two degrees um there was ice on the ground and the water was frozen uh so the wood stove worked really really well so we're happy about that with the wood stove so thumbs up for our wood stove um the next update i'm going to give you guys is on the chainsaw but i'll take you outside and give you some information about our chainsaw because in, in the previous video i told you all about our chainsaw troubles but they're solved so let me take you out and show you the brand new chainsaw okay you all we are outside i'm gonna show you the baby so here she is yes here she is she's very heavy oh put her down but anyways this chainsaw there's a story behind of it so I'm going to post a video right here, the link to a video where I talked about our chainsaw troubles and post it right here. And you can go back and watch it if you want to. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not going to tell the entire story, but watch the video. And so we needed a chainsaw, like I said, and we had the four chainsaw, only one small one was working. 
So anyways, my husband's like, oh my goodness, we didn't get our wood yet and we need to have wood, right? We don't want to be caught without wood. You know, you never want that to happen. So last week we were like, we need to buy a chainsaw. Honestly, we just need to because we have some logs and we have to cut them up before we get on your load of wood. So my husband's like, let's look for a... Um, so I'm like, let's just look for one. So we were up early. I think it was like 7 o'clock or whatever. And we started looking on the internet for chainsaws and stuff like that. We saw a couple, but we wanted an 18-inch one or bigger. And the price wasn't... We saw a couple of them, but the price wasn't right. And they were just not powerful enough for what we were looking for. So finally, we like, oh, we've been searching for like three hours. And then uh, my husband said, oh, let's look on Kijiji. Maybe we might find something there. So we put Kijiji on. The first thing we saw was brand new chainsaw in the box for sale it was like what brand new chainsaw we clicked the ad and uh yeah he was this russian guy who bought a mill from russia and he had it sent to canada and uh in the in the package they sent him a brand new chainsaw with the mill but he's selling the chainsaw because he's allergic to fumes from the um, chainsaw so he can't use anything that has like gasoline or stuff like that any tools that has gasoline so we called him up right away it was like um just before we started searching around seven eight yeah just a few minutes before nine and he answered the phone and he said yeah i'll come right over and we just me and my husband just got dressed and dashed it out there I met him and yeah, the chainsaw was in the box, never been used or anything like that. And he said, you know, I've never used any, I never even started it up. So I hope it's going to work. So we had bring our gasoline and stuff like that because he was really prepared. And we, we put the gas in and she started to run. We even bring a big piece of big log to see if it's going to cut right through it. And she went zoom right through it. And we went, yes. And then the price was ridiculous. He said, ah, oh, just take it. You know what I mean? I just want it gone. It's it's okay. I know you guys are good people. You know, you need you need for your wood lot in the country. And I'm a I'm a guy too from Russia and I just bought land and farming and I know what it is, blah blah blah. And I'm telling you, God is good. And he sold us the the this chainsaw for like I don't know, like a quarter of the price. I mean, it was just incredible, ridiculous, brand new in the box, and just the exact one that we need. We we the power, the engine, the the um, how you call that? There's like something inside the chain, so like to tweak it, to make it on. Anyways, I don't know. <laughs> what i'm saying but anyways it you have to like regulate the chainsaw that one has the perfect thing because this is like a really 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 good chainsaw so there she is so this is the story of our chainsaw so now we got a brand new chainsaw and she's working perfectly so you girl <laughs>